In this video, you will learn how to install an SDX High Performance Liquid Dilution System on an ASX 560 Auto Sampler. This video assumes that you have already installed the Auto Sampler and that the rinse station is not connected. This is what the SDX system looks like right out of the box. In addition to the Auto Sampler, you will need the SDX Pump Module, the SDX Vortex Module, the SDX Spill Tray, the Power Bridge Cable, a USB cable, the Vortex Vessel with pre-attached tubing, a sample probe with separate nut and ferrule. We will be using a 1.0 millimeter probe, the ICP tube, the syringe, the sample loop, the tubing clip, the syringe diluent tube, the waste tube, and the rinse tube. Let's begin. Install the SDX spill tray. Place the SDX pump module next to the auto sampler. Remove the protective yellow caps. Install the syringe. Make sure that the plunger of the pump is in the half position. The syringe arm can be manually controlled in Qtegra. Tighten the thumb screw at the bottom. Screw the top of the syringe into the valve. Make sure the syringe is snug, but be careful not to over tighten it. Locate the vortex vessel with its attached tubing. Pass the tubing down through the vortex module. Then press the vortex vessel into the vortex module. You should feel the vessel click into place. Place the vortex module onto the spill tray. Pass the cable behind the vortex module and through the hole at the base of the auto sampler. Press the tubing holder straight down onto the rinse station support post. Press the vortex vessel tubing into the grooves in the tubing holder. Allow enough slack so the tubing is not stretched or kinked. Thread the tubing through the hole in the base of the auto sampler. Install the auto sampler rinse station by pressing it straight down. Make sure the power switches on the back of the SDX and on the back of the auto sampler are turned off. Connect the vortex cable to the vortex connector on the back of the SDX pump module. Connect the power bridge cable between one of the power ports on the back of the SDX, either one will work, and the ASX 560 power connector. Connect the desktop power supply to the other power port on the back of the SDX. Connect a USB cable between the SDX pump module and the computer. Connect a separate USB cable to the auto sampler. Next, we connect the sample probe. Move the Z drive to the position farthest from the rinse station. This ensures that there will be enough slack in the tubing to prevent tightness or kinks during auto sampler operation. 
install the probe on the Z drive of the auto sampler. Adjust the probe height as shown in the ASX560 quick installation guide. Secure the sample line using the spiral wraps. Locate the waste tube. Connect the waste tube to the waste connector on the front of the SDX pump module. Tighten the fitting with your fingers. Place the other end of the waste tube into the waste container. Ensure that the outlet of the waste tubing is placed so that it will remain above the surface of the liquid in the waste container. Locate the rinse tube. Connect the rinse tube to the rinse connector. Place the other end of the rinse tube in the bottle of Vortex Vessel Rinse Solution. Connect the Vortex to SDX tube to the SDX port. This is the tube connected from the bottom of the Vortex Vessel. Install the nut and ferrule on the end of the sample probe tube. The flat end of the ferrule should face the end of the tube. Now connect the sample probe to the probe connector. If you are using a sprint valve, you would install a check valve at this point. Connect the ICP tube to the ICP AS Express port. Connect the other end of the ICP tube to the sample uptake connector on the peristaltic pump of the ICP MS or other instrument. Keep this line as short as possible. Connect one end of the sample loop to the syringe connector and the other end to the left side of the valve. Connect the syringe diluent tube to the right side of the valve. Place the other end of the syringe diluent tube into the bottle of diluent. Connect the auto sampler rinse station tubing as described in the ASX 560 auto sampler quick installation guide. Turn the SDX and the auto sampler on. When you turn on the SDX for the first time, the PC will assign a COM port number for the USB connection. The SDX is operated through a plugin for your instrument control software. See the separate video on setting up Qtegra to operate the SDX.